guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the driveway and welcome back in the old second gen today's video um i noticed online that there's not a whole lot of um installs and reviews for a uh, particular set of fender flares now i'm not a huge fan of fender flares by any means um truck really doesn't need them for say um but it was a look that I kind of liked. Uh, I was watching UCC last week and there was one particular truck that uh, kind of similar style except it was a single cab truck. And um, I liked the look of the the, uh, the fender flares. So I hit up eBay Motors and I got potentially the cheapest set of fender flares. I mean, it's a generic ass box, nothing special. Um, so they're like a $70 set of uh, fender flares. They're the OE style. Uh, not the pocket style. I don't really like that whole rough country look or whatever, but um, So we're gonna go ahead and set you guys up and do an install and we'll see what the result is Again, these do not have like instructions or anything. It's just basically you get a bag of screws a bag of uh, Just literally the stripping that goes across it so it doesn't scratch the paint and stuff like that So like I said, we'll put you guys up on a time lapse do the install and we'll see how it turns out I guess first and foremost, we'll get to the meat and potatoes of this whole deal right there you can take a look at it again they're they're mostly like i said just the oe style that you could have bought from the factory um only downfall again these aren't pre-drilled none of that and again there's no sort of directions at all so all right guys so right there is pretty much everything laid out and again in the package here you just basically get some screws they're especially tool for installing the stripping and a boatload of stripping basically just goes right in the upper groove area just run it all the way down cut your excess and then keep on moving all right guys i'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and um we'll just go ahead and take it from there step by step put the stripping on and then we'll basically mount them up and then Drill them into the uh, the bed sides and the front fenders and all that, and then go from there. Uh, link will be in the description below for the uh, eBay kit and eBay link. Um, again, for these particular fender flares, again everybody's made them out there, and they range from anywhere between seventy and like two hundred dollars. So it just depends on the quality, I guess. At the end of the day. All right, guys. So it's just a little bit of a, I guess, some helpful advice for anybody who's looking to do this. Uh, before I go into the time lapse, I decided to do one test piece to try to see how it came out and. And what's the best function to do um, in order to do so um, and the best thing I can tell you right now is that little specialty tool does come in handy um, when you don't lose it um, but as you can tell here there's two different portions of it where the humps are um, you're gonna basically cut your one piece to here I left this portion empty and then pretty much run the bottom side here with another strip again that goes against the body kind of makes it a little bit more of a tighter fill um, so yeah, just something to look into.
All right, guys, so we're kind of halfway through here um, on the driver's side or passenger side. Just want to kind of give you guys kind of some, um, I guess, a little pointers here. Um, if your truck has the uh, molding off the cab going into the fender, you're going to have to basically remove this. Um, I cleaned up the other side. I'll show you again once we do the reveal. And also, if you have the bedside ones, you're going to have to obviously either trim or remove them in order for it to work. All right, guys, before we do the final review, reveal, um, let's go ahead and just kind of do kind of a, I guess, an overview of basically the install. Um, second set of hands is going to be very, very needed. Um, thank God my wife was here. And she helped out immensely. Um, but yet, as far as for setting your screws and what have you, um, it's all going to be based off of pressure and how it runs and how it works for you. Some, some may only need a couple of screws, while others may need more. Um, the front is a lot easier than doing the back. Um, that's one thing I can tell you. Um, the back, it's definitely a pain. Um, doesn't really line up 100%, even though you use the stripping and everything like that to try to cut the gaps down, you're still kind of fighting it. Um, even with a second set of hands, it's like you can almost need a third set of hands to get the pressure points right and lined up properly. So uh, let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit and do the big reveal. All right, guys, so basically you see the final result here. Um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, again, it's just an eBay kit that, uh, you know, for the cheapest one you can pretty much get, $70. Uh, about an hour plus of your time. Second set of hands is gonna come in handy very much so, like I said earlier. So do what you guys always do. Like, share, subscribe, peep pump the world, and I will see you guys in the next one.